What's up traders, Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol MSFT for Microsoft Corp. On the left hand side we have the daily time frame and on the right hand side the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will of course be an update. We cover the stock regularly on the channel. I also watch it very closely on an intraday basis. The big news here is of course the fact that they will be acquiring ATVI for Activision Blizzard and of course this means that they are going to be taking on a little bit of debt here. So is this going to be short term pain for long term gain? could potentially be that if this ends up being a good investment. Regardless, we have some technical things to be paying attention to here. The main one is this shelf of prior resistance, prior breakout point. Oops, let me get that back on the screen. There we go. You can see we consolidated above it before making that next leg higher. And on today's session, we did show some fairly bearish indications here. Not only did we close underneath that area, but notice that it's on an inverted hammer, right? So there was an attempt from the buyers to get it back higher, but it was not sustained, right? We can even see that on the 30 minute time frame, right out of the opening gates again tried to get it higher but really failed at this area of resistance and could not keep it above that 305.50 into the end of the day so again what's the outlook here well on a short-term basis yes it is going to be bearish here we're looking for moves that start to break down underneath today's lows and get us into here we know that's 300 psychological but more importantly from a technical perspective we have uh 298.52 and let me again show you and illustrate where that number is coming from there we go. It was from splitting the difference in here. It's the midpoint of the range, also prior resistance, resistance, then support before that rally did happen. Ultimately speaking, the line in the sand is here. It's also very close to the daily 200 SMA, which is a big deal inside of these larger tech stocks. Notice that this has not been tested, the 200 SMA that is, in quite some time. So usually on the first test, it's the best test to look for some sort of bounce. I would definitely be on high alert for reversals to the long side at and around that 293.50. Uh, and that's kind of it in Microsoft, really. It's all about this Activision deal uh, just as an excuse for the stock to potentially move lower. But we know we're really eyeballing this area of support as an important one. 293.50, once again, just to reiterate, short-term outlook does look bearish based on everything we've discussed. Failure by the buyers, weak close, inverted hammer underneath this breakout point. Everything does point to lower, so we'll be monitoring for that. The only long-sided trade I could see taking is if we get back up and over this 311.15 based on the fact that anyone who's short here late to the party probably starts to feel their max pain point if we take out that area of resistance and start running higher. So I imagine that there are plenty of stop losses stacked up in here. Anyone who is short from in here and is holding it, again, kudos to you. Great uh, great trade on your hands, but I do imagine that stop losses are placed up and over that 311. If we start getting up there, shorts probably start stopping out and we could see a nice little rally. So those are my two uh, entry points here, basically longs up and over 311 and continuing to look for shorts underneath 305 with longs back on the radar. 293.50. So that's it in Microsoft. If you enjoyed the video today or learned anything new, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.